deep into the second afternoon of the Workplace Health and Safety Show at the Sydney International Convention Centre. And as you can see, the crowds are still here, taking in the interactive forum, going around looking at the exhibits, and uh, there's a seminar down the other end as well. So, who says you can't have a safety show in Sydney? Well, we're here uh, looking down on the uh, Workplace Health and Safety Show on the second afternoon and with me is uh, Mari Kinsella, the uh, boss of international exhibitions and, conference group. and conferences indeed, thank you Mari, uh, the organiser of the show and I would say fairly happy about it. Yes, I am fairly happy, Lawrence. It's been a great couple of days. <laughs> How the, uh, how's it st stacking up against last year in Melbourne? Well, as you know, this is the first time we've done the event in Sydney. And I haven't had the numbers for today, but we were up on the first day last year in Melbourne. But what we were hearing repeatedly last night was just the quality of who was coming in and the breadth of the industries that have been represented. Um, lots of manufacturers, surprising number of councils, some significant transport companies, engineering companies, warehousing, and we're talking the big boys, if yeah. I can use that term. <laughs> uh, we are really happy with the high end of um, organisations that have come through the, the doors. Plus, of course, we have 350 conference delegates at the Safety Institute of Australia's conference, and they are a terrific group of key decision makers around Australia. So yeah. we truly are a national event. It's not just a New South Wales based event. And we're happy with the interstates. We've had people from overseas come through. We had a group from Seoul, from a significant infrastructure organization in Seoul come through and connect with many of the exhibitors here. So in fact, Sydney is the gateway to Australia and I'm a Melbourne girl and I see that our Sydney presence will draw more from the international regions and that's where we'll be pushing forth as we grow this event. And in terms of the size of the show, um, larger than last year? It is larger than last year, definitely a bigger footprint. Um, like any inaugural event um, in Melbourne, there were companies wanting to see what actually happened, did business occur post event. So we had a lot of um, companies coming to view the event in Melbourne, were happy with what they saw and so they've come with us for the first time. And they're telling us they're back next year. Well, very good news. And so back to Melbourne next year? Back to Melbourne next year, mid-May, working again with the Safety Institute of Australia with their national conference. And of course, all of this is under the banner of SafetyScape. So that's like a festival of safety where we have multiple events that all work together with a focus on making safety a priority in everyone's workplaces. Excellent. Well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll look forward to next year and Mari Kinsella, thank you very much. Thanks, Lawrence. On the ASAFE stand at the uh, Workplace Health and Safety Show with Mark Collins, uh, Australasian boss for ASAFE. Good week for you? Very good week, Lawrence. I uh, had a lot of key customers come through, a lot of existing customers have come through as well, which is good just to catch up with them. Mm -hmm. and, and two stands as well, I noticed. Yes, um, the product's becoming very, very popular at the moment, and um, you know we just want to give customers the exposure. Um, to, to what we do, yeah, yeah. And what, what what have people been liking the look of? I noticed on the other stand you've had the alarm bar, and uh, we've we we have a little video of that. So, <laughs> yeah, the alarm bar is a, a brand new product that's um, just been released. So we thought this would be an opportunity to um, promote a new product. Yeah, I noticed uh, that uh, w that workplace traffic management is becoming a bit of an issue, and it's been mentioned in uh, a couple of the seminar sessions today. Um, are you seeing any increased uh, interest uh, on the back of that coverage? Yes, we have. It's actually become a key point uh, for a lot of safety managers um, to separate the pedestrians from their forklifts uh, and keep people safe so they can get home. <laughs> and that's what we all want to do. Thanks, Mark. Thank you.